A, we've got a page here with three sections. So you can see there's a bit of parallax effect going on here. But what if we don't want to have like that straight line border line that we've got there at the moment between all three? What if we want to have a bit of shape dividers? Now, you know how to do shape dividers. The problem is, what if you want them to properly intersect? What is the problem? Let's go into section two, go to style, go down to shape divider, and at the very top, okay, so the top one, I'm going to go for the tilt effect like that. And that looks okay, except we have this white background. But what if I go over here um, and I then go to advanced tab, for instance? Well, I can't take away the white that we have over here. And if I go to style, well, I've got an image, so I can't even make that background fully transparent. But if I go over here and I go to advanced and I start to do this, look at this. I want to create an intersection, but the trouble is this white will also follow. So I'm not completely getting rid of it. So here's what you do. Let's undo all of that first. Then we're going to go to a website called BennettFeely.com. This is a completely free website. You have lots of pre-built shapes in here with the anchor points, or you can create one from scratch. I'm just going to go with something like this. I tend to pick like the octagon one just because it's got more um, anchor points or dots. And I'm now just going to go with something like that. So that's the shape I want for my section. I'm then going to copy the code that is below, which is just here in case anyone wasn't sure about it. Let's just copy that. Go back over to our section two. Now you can do this on section one. You would just make the, uh, the tilt effect be at the bottom. I've gone for a top. I am going to go to advanced and I'm going to give this a class name. And I'm going to call this um, shape top. No, I'm not. I'm going to call it tilt top like that. Tilt top. Looks weird, doesn't it? Tilt top. I'm then going to go down to custom CSS and paste in the code. Now, when you paste in that code, it is not going to do anything because all it is is the clip path polygon, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go over here and I'm now going to type in tilt top like this, put in the open curly bracket, and then I'm going to close off the bracket now. Now, you're going to say that looks exactly like what we had before. With the white, it's still showing. However, if I now go back to the top margin for that section and I now do this, look, can you see the white is not following? And I'm just going to go, well, I mean, look, you're going to have to do this by eye a little bit just to get it right, to make sure it gets the effect you want. But we now have over here completely blended these two sections like that. They're now intersecting and cutting into one another. You could, if you want, if you wanted to be really, really specific, do a bottom tilt as well for section one. But I would say just do for section two. And you could do lots of different effects and image intersections now using this website. You know, decide on how you want it to look, whatever. Look, you know, I'm, I'm going crazy here. You get your code, which was down here. You stick that in to your custom CSS. Make sure you give it a title or a class name. Make sure you put the same name in. Let me just extend this a little bit like that. There we go. Uh, curly bracket, close the curly bracket off. And away you go. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and keep dancing. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.